What's up, Rough Cuts? Adam Stonchek here for another Thursday movie review. But today I'm reviewing a TV show, which is called The Upright Citizens Brigade. I was trying to think of what to review today, and I realized that maybe you guys, there's people out there who haven't watched this show. That's a shame. Upright Citizen Brigade is a sketch comedy show that was on Comedy Central in 1998 to 2000. It ran for three seasons. Some of you might be familiar with the Upright Citizens Brigade as like a sketch comedy group in New York. But they had a show and it was Matt Besser, Amy Poehler, Ian Roberts, and Matt Walsh. The thing that made this show different than like Saturday Night Live or In Living Color or any other you know, the state. Each episode, they see, they tried to, like, run each of the little storylines together. So you had, like, a lot of little skits, but then they all interacted weird in weird ways. And they had some re- each season had, like, a reoccurring whatever inside joke weird thing. Yeah, so each season they would, they would tie, they would have, like, some thing that they'd tie together at the end. But, so these, the Upright Citizens Brigade, the tagline is that they are four people who they, these guys in the front of the box. Their goal is to just spread chaos. The other things that make it different than your normal sketch shows is that it's shot more like a, a drama and and not like, uh, you know, like a stage play or something. So, like, the camera angles and stuff and the camera work makes it seem like it's an actual serious show almost, except for everything is so ridiculous. And it's no laugh track, that kind of thing. It's not, because there's no live audience, so there's no laughing. It's just... it. It's totally different, and at the time, I remember, like, it was it was so experimental and so different than anything I've, I saw on TV. Of course, there's a great a lot of great quotable moments, but like anything that becomes a cult classic could have that. But I, I do feel like this influenced a lot of things. Another thing that they did is at the end of each episode, they would have, like, a short, like, while the currents were on, they would show... Uh, they would show the actors in character interacting with people on the street in hidden camera style. And doing whatever crazy thing that they did in the show, they would, like, do some of it. And, uh, I feel like that made it possible for shows like Jackass and the Tom Green show and stuff. This was before Tom Green, right? Let's Google that. I don't want to sound like an idiot. Yeah, okay, so I wasn't sound like an idiot. Um, it, the Tom Green show came on after this in America. I mean, it was in Canada, apparently. But, uh, that's what it seems to be. Now you have uh, improv anywhere and you have like all these flash mobs and stuff like that and uh, if those groups aren't directly tied to the current Upright Citizens Brigade I feel like at least that they're able to do what they do because of stuff like this kind of comedy and these kind of skits. It's just really really great funny weird bizarre stuff and the, the, the show is worth checking out if you like the weird goofy comedy. But like I said it's also well written so that you, you get some continuity between the episodes and in between the skits Gets. And it's funny because the actors play both the characters, their characters like this, but each skit they'll play their own different people too. And uh, so you see the same actors over and over again playing different characters in this universe and it's, it's like as if you're not supposed to realize that it's the same person. But some of the some of these skits are just so funny. I don't want to ruin any of it. And you probably could find it online if you looked, but I, I would recommend to like pick up you know, find it somewhere. It's not on Netflix. It never has been. None of the seasons. Yeah, the only thing that they have on Netflix is something that's not anything compared to, like, what the show was. And even, the, they have a YouTube channel, but it's not using these actors because everybody's too big and awesome, except for every once in a while you get, like, a cameo. The skits on the YouTube are, like, so much lower quality than just what the the comedy delivered in this package was. So if it's something that you, sounds interesting to you, and if, you know, shut up email. Um, if it's something that sounds like you might be interested in, I'd recommend to go and check it out. And I will see you guys next week. I gotta hit stop. I gotta hit stop.